And the screen team is back on today's talk, KWOC and 93.3 FM. We've got, of course, a great show for you uh, this evening. It's all brought to you by Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, where Walmart is next door to us. Also, Fearless Social and Poplar Bluff Drywall. We just got done doing a family-friendly film called Sean the Sheep, and now we're kind of... We're doing a 180 with this next one, because this next one is not a kid's film at all. It's called John Wick. This movie came out in 2014. If you're into action films, if you're into revenge films, I think you're going to like this one. It stars Keanu Reeves and... um, Sabrina, you didn't know anything really about this uh, particular film. Um, I started watching it. You got enthralled in it. What were your initial thoughts watching this film? I thought, I thought, oh boy, this is going to be another one of those movies that <laughs> that Keanu Reeves tries to be a Act. rock star in. And, <laughs> you know, in the very beginning of it, though, I thought, that's not him. And then I realized, yeah, it is him. Mm-hmm. And then I forgot it was him. Yeah. I honestly believe this is a good film for him. This he did was, a good job with it, didn't he? He didn't have to talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. He didn't have to talk a lot. I, I, I liked this movie. I, I, I mean, it was... Um, He's grown young. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I thought that this was an interesting story, considering it, it's not a new story but in the least, right. you know. But um, it was um, full of action. Uh, a lot of slow-mo into the camera scene, you know. there was Yeah, there was like, <laughs> it felt like we were watching like a rap video or something, you know. It's the, the slow <laughs> walk into a club kind of thing. Yeah. Um, this film started off with Keanu Reeves. He's kind of a, a family man. He's got a wife, and uh, they've got a life together. Uh, then you kind of quickly find out that his wife isn't doing very well. She's sick, and she yeah. passes away. You find that very, uh, you find that out very early on in the film, so we're not really giving too much away. Uh, so she passes away, and his life is obviously um not where he wants it to be he he's very sad he is very sad but from beyond the grave his wife gives him a gift a puppy a, a cute an adorable puppy yeah it is it is very very cute a puppy that sort of brings him from the brink because yes. he was he was like mm, not yeah. sure he was gonna make it yeah he was definitely wavering and something happens to the puppy Somebody pays him a visit <laughs> and steals his car. Steals his car. And, and it all because he ran into the wrong people at, the, at wrong, the gas station. At the wrong time, yeah. And for whatever reason, they want the car. Mm-hmm. Guy, this one guy just decides he wants this car. They come, they take the car. And this guy has no idea who he's messing with. Who John Wick is. That's right. So, obviously, after all this happens, John Wick is uh, visibly... And this is all within, like, the first 15 <laughs> minutes of the movie. <laughs> he's, he's visibly upset, so he kind of decides to open up his closet, open up his skeletons. Yeah, he and... digs up his floor. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. And you come to find out very early on after all this happens that John Wick is not a guy to mess with. No, he's known as the boogeyman. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is, and yeah, he he's basically like Liam Neeson, Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. um, uh, Bruce Willis, all tied up in one, and he's going to get his revenge because he's mad because his wife dies. Mm-hmm. That's that he's mad already. But yeah. when they take his puppy from him, it was the last straw. Car, no big deal. <laughs> the puppy, that was brutal. That was brutal. And and this is a man who doesn't bother with explanations you won't catch him monologuing his way through before you die yeah you just die which was cool (laughs) it was cool man it was like the best part about Uh, the the character in the movie was that this dude doesn't care about giving you an explanation you're on the list bam it was kind of like they were saying less is more you know it was like you know what don't let's not let's not fill it up with a bunch of talk and there isn't, there isn't a lot of talk. I'm not on his part. Yeah, uh, there's characters that he has to deal with, and and uh, I mean, you honestly just want to see him get his revenge, even though he's a bad dude. He's not a nice guy. No, not at all. He but tried you- to live a good life and get away from the bad life, but it followed him. But you're rooting for him, even though he, even though he is a bad guy. But the All other because guy, of a puppy. The other guys are 
you know, worse. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Um, we've got a we got a good supporting cast in here. We've got Willem Dafoe, who is like another kind of, um, mm. uh, I mean, uh, hitman. I guess is the is the correct term. He's another hitman, and uh, he's uh, trying to kill John Wick in this film. You also have John Leguizamo uh, in a small uh, minor role, Ian McShane, and um, a really great cast. And what I what I really liked about this film was. That the Hitman Club had their own little community. They have a hotel. They have a hotel <laughs> that's just for Hitmen. Yeah. And they have and there's ru- rules. There's rules that you have to abide by. And it's not just men. No, it's not. Mm-mm. Some beautiful ladies, too. Dangerous ladies. Yes. It was cool. I also like the, the cinematography of this film. There was, you know, you had mentioned the, the slow motion sequences and stuff like that, which were cool, but... You know, I like the color scheme that was in this. It was dark, had a lot of blues and greens in this. It was cold and wet in this in this film. That's what it felt like to me. Yeah. Cold and wet. But 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 didn't the film to you didn't it have you see this poster we're looking at? Didn't cold it have, and wet. Didn't it have that kind of kind of <laughs> feel to it. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this film isn't going to be for everybody. Uh, it's an action film. It's got a lot of violence. Mm-hmm. It's got a lot of uh, dirty language in it. Uh, no nudity. You know who's going to like this movie? Who's that? Stacey Anderson. Stacey Anderson will like this movie. <laughs> Doug and Stacey will dig this film. we got to let them know about it for sure. <laughs> uh, so this movie isn't for kids. It's rated R. Yeah. Um, so if you're into the whole action uh, scene, this is definitely going to be a film for you. Yeah. Um, now, they're currently in production uh, for John Wick 2. Are you, were you excited to see that? I did not know that, but I am, yes. I will watch it. Let me ask you something. Uh, and just to kind of get off on a little mini tangent here, uh, we saw Taken. Yes. And we like Taken. We like Taken 1, yeah, right? Yeah, we didn't like Taken 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. <laughs> <laughs> because I guess it basically followed the same... There's only so many times you can be taken, right? Right. Now, if they bring back a puppy in the second one, then I'm going to be ticked off. <laughs> But no there's more. places they can go with it. Yeah, there's there's definitely a, a different uh, storyline they can follow with yeah. John Wick 2. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be coming out in uh, late 2016. Uh, coming up after the break, we're going to review one of Sabrina's favorite actors of all time, Robert Downey Jr., <laughs> and uh, a film that has nothing to do with Iron Man, has nothing to do with Sherlock Holmes. It's called <laughs> The Judge, and we'll do that next on Today's Talk, 930 KWOC.